Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, we are now moving on to third question of the series. So let me share my screen and then get started. So the question is, um, yeah, so you need to set this context in the exam, but here you don't really need to. So you are required to create a pod that uh, requests a certain amount of CPU and memory. So it gets scheduled to a um, node that has a resource available. It's basically, uh, you need to create a pod with a certain name and it onto certain namespace with certain image. And you need to make sure that uh, this is what you request out of it. So what we're gonna do, um, we will first check uh, if the resources namespaces exist or not. Uh, that's what they've already uh, asked us to check. Uh, sometimes uh, they might create something for you in the exam, but here, um, because I made few questions and uh, your environment, my environments are different. So I just uh, added this check if it's already been created, yeah. So um, um, alias K cube CDL. Um, K get namespace, let's copy, right? Uh, sorry. So at any point, so it's resources is active. It's created four days back. What I'm gonna do, I will be removing at any point. If you want a solution, you can click this button and it will take you through the solution. So, but um, now what I'm gonna do, K delete NS resources. I just wanted to delete that uh, and then uh, start it fresh. So it, it might take a while, uh, but let's wait. Uh, so if you have any feedback or anything, please leave it in comments. And uh, if I have time or if I get uh, some opportunity, I'll probably uh, try um, to do a video on that. So it's um, a pretty good exam and uh, it'll definitely give you a good confidence once you've actually uh, cleared the exam. Okay, so it's now been removed. Uh, when you remove namespace, the resources inside that uh, also gets deleted uh, because there's a pod already. That's the reason it took um, a while. So now clear screen and uh, K, um, get NS resources. No, it's not that. So, okay, create NS resources. Yes, you created that. And then now the pod has to be with the name uh, pod resources in the resources namespace. So, K iPhone N uh, resources. And uh, I just now, the reason that I put iPhone N that is so that you don't forget. So, uh, pod resources with the image, image uh, 300. Oh, sorry. Image Nginx and see uh, in solution, I've, I've put it uh, directly uh, request and CPU something, something. So uh, I've seen that it, it started throwing an um, exception or warning saying that uh, it's gonna be um, getting rid of the uh, probably the option in next releases. So what we're gonna do, we will just generate um, uh, a AML file out of it. Uh, dry run equals to client and uh, um, hyphen o aml and then uh, so this is the third question right so we uh, i've just put three question aml um yeah so three question aml sorry about that uh plugin name flags cannot be placed before plugin name Um, let's try and remove this thing and then probably add that part of a, uh, oh, sorry guys, I think uh, I know why. K N resources run, so you need to put run uh, to generate that file. So so now um, VI three question and uh, so now let's go onto the Kubernetes documentation. Um, Kubernetes documentation and then uh, what is that um, resources, resources. Um, and then now let's just say CPU colon, right? Uh, let's just take this, right? Um, that's all you need to do. So let's come here. 
and uh, 10, oh, sorry, 10, yeah, and uh, resources, requests. So what, what, what um, has been asked? So it's a 300 M CPU and one gig memory. So one gig memory, one GI and uh, 300. So it's pretty much finished. If uh, the name of the pod is pod resources, that's what the boss does uh, in resources namespace. This is important, yeah. It's a resources namespace and it has 300 M CPU, which is correct. And uh, one gig CPU, so one gig memory, that's right. And it is in the Nginx image, that's, that's right. So um, let's save the file and uh, k apply hyphen f three question should be uh, done. So uh, you can actually uh, go check about that. So I would say k describe pod pod resources and uh, grab hyphen i uh, requests. I'm sorry. Okay, it's because of the namespace. iPhone and resources. So request is not there. So let's try CPU. CPU is 300 ME and memory. So obviously we uh, because we put resources, which is already uh, in that particular namespace. So um, I think that's all. Uh, for this question and uh, I'll see you in um, next video. Um, until then, happy learning and then bye.